All right, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, I'm Katie. I'm Steph. And we are a married couple from Vancouver, Canada. Today we're in Kootenai National Park and we're going to bring you along on a kind of one day itinerary in the park. There is so much to see and so much to do. We have pinpointed the highlights, um, so we're going to bring you along. We have Theo with us, our little dog, so we're going to show you all the dog friendly areas and dog etiquette of being in the park. We're really excited to check out some of these spots and bring you along. Yeah, this is our first time in the National Park. We are staying in Radium Hot Springs and that's where we're starting our drive today. Um, the Kootenai region of BC is so beautiful and somewhere that we haven't explored as much. It's We're right on the border of Alberta, right on the border of Banff National Park. Um, and yeah, we're excited to be here for the first time. So let's go check things out. Our first stop and the perfect place to kick off your day in Kootenai National Park is Marble Canyon. There's a beautiful one kilometer scenic walk along Talcum Creek with plenty of bridges and viewpoints where you can stop to enjoy the scenery. This trail is open all year round and it's dog friendly as long as pets stay on a leash and visitors are mindful of any wildlife that may be in the area. Marble Canyon is at the north end of Kootenai National Park and was originally formed by glaciers. The views are incredible and it is absolutely worth a stop when exploring the area. Not far from Marble Canyon is the Paint Pots hiking area and it is a perfect second stop on your day in Kootenai National Park. There is a short two kilometer trail where you can view the ochre mud pots along with a brand new boardwalk. This is a really unique hike and a special spot that is definitely worth seeing. After paint pots, be sure to fit in a quick stop at the Numa Falls rest area where you can enjoy these beautiful views just steps from the parking lot. Alright, we've been having a very nice day in Kootenai National Park. This is kind of our halfway point. We're driving through like the middle section, um, so a lot of the stops are kind of at either end, but it's been really nice so far. Yeah, I mean, it's been absolutely beautiful. The area that we were at had a lot of kind of glacial rivers and waterfalls and things so of course that's going to be beautiful the turquoise water and beautiful spots um yeah it's really really unique and really really interesting yeah it's a great park and the weather has been a little bit all over the place for the most part the rain has held off but we have had a little bit so we'll see what happens um, for these next couple stops. But there was a huge storm last night in Radium, so we're actually really impressed that the weather's been as good as it has been. <laughs> um, but we'll cross our fingers for the last couple stops. Yeah, we did come prepared with layers and rain jackets. Rain jackets, and yeah, all, all sorts of things. of things. So I think that's probably just a good idea no matter what. Um, yeah, for sure. Come prepared. Um, know that there's no cell service in the park either, so downloading your maps you can use them offline is definitely a must uh, we also have a paper map so a backup just in case, just in case. <laughs> um, but yeah definitely come prepared of course anytime you're going into the national parks yeah at the other end of the park you'll want to make your next stop at dog lake even if you don't have time to do the five kilometer round trip hike to the lake itself, 
At the start of the trail, there are two beautiful bridges that you won't want to miss. From there, be sure to stop off at the Kootenai Valley viewpoint to take in the incredible sights of the valley. This is an easy pull off from the highway that is absolutely worth it. And the perfect place to end your day is at the beautiful Olive Lake. This can be a quick stop as it's right next to the highway and only a short walk in from the parking lot, or you can spend more time here enjoying the forested trail. The views of the lake are gorgeous and it's an excellent place to finish off a day in Kootenai National Park. We just wrapped up our day in the National Park and just got back to the Village of Radium. That was such a good day. Yeah. Um, I feel like our itinerary was kind of perfect. We did six stops in total, mm -hmm. and some were shorter and some were longer, and it was a good mix. Yeah, it was a good mix. I feel like this national park is really not as busy as Banff National Park, mm -hmm. which is right next door. Um, so it was really pretty quiet at all the stops, which was great. It just didn't feel overcrowded. Um, so that was really nice. I yeah. feel like this one's a little more off the beaten path, but it's beautiful there are so many amazing stops and yeah highly highly recommend it was a, it was a great day yeah there were yeah. services like bathrooms and stuff at pretty much everywhere. every stop yeah almost everywhere. Um, garbage cans and stuff like the bare garbage cans so like yeah. you know for taking theo of course like when you're taking a dog on trails a lot of the time there are no garbage cans anywhere so when like you caring. pick things up yeah. so it was really nice that there were garbage cans really nice that there were yeah. bathrooms, bathrooms. Yeah. and um lots of picnic spots yeah. uh so yeah all in all i thought it was it was great yeah and it's really nice that the parks are dog friendly mm -hmm. we actually saw a lot of people with dogs lots of happy dogs yeah, yeah so that was really nice yeah all in all a great day highly recommend kootenai national park i'm glad that I'm glad that we've done it now. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really good day. Mm -hmm. All right, well, hopefully that gives you a good idea of just a perfect little quick single day itinerary if you are either staying in Radium Hot Springs or if you are driving through Kootenai National Park, you could also just do it as like a one-way drive through mm -hmm. um, with all these stops. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to our channel for all future videos. Yeah. And we'll see you really soon. See you next time. Bye. Bye.